Well, it's, it's an important way of uh, ensuring the integrity of the vote um, and observing what happens and making sure that uh, international standards are met, Tunisian law is, is followed. Uh, it's an important thing that the United States does in many countries, uh, along with other Europeans as well, to provide support to countries transitioning to democracy and uh, helping ensure that they can carry out successful elections. The democratic transition has continued, uh, which is important. Uh, one thing that's changed since I was here is that the security situation has is, is improved. Uh, the Tunisian security forces are doing a much better job uh, ensuring that the security of the country is maintained. That's important for the elections. Uh, the economy continues to be a big challenge, uh, and it's something that, that will need attention uh, after the election. Uh, the political situation has continued to evolve, as I said. Uh, this is the, the second election since the Constitution was adopted in 2014. Uh, and maintaining the, that process and keeping going forward with regular elections is a very important um, part of, of, of transitioning to democracy. Well, I'm looking forward to actually sort of getting into the details of the observation. I was here in 2014 as ambassador. I did visit a couple of polling stations then. I went to one in Tunis and one just outside of Tunis. Uh, but, I, but I wasn't a I wasn't sort of doing the, the, the full scope of what an international observer does. I was just sort of watching and getting a sense of it. So I'm really looking forward to actually seeing the whole process evolve from the opening of the polling station through the process as people come in and vote and then the closing and the counting at the end of the day. So that should be very interesting. <laughs>